Yes, I pray. Amen. I'm going to talk to you the subject called fight, fight evil giants on the mountain of your life. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Sigi. Welcome you to Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry. And I'm going to look from the book of Revelation 12, verse 7 to 9. The book of Revelation, Revelation 12, 7 to 9. The Bible says, And a, and a war break out in heaven. Michael and his, his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon and his angel fought back. You see, the war started from heaven. The war, the fight started from heaven. The angel Mike, Mike, Mike and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon also fought with his angels. So both of them, there was a war. This war was angel of God and the angel of the devil. So both of them, they started fighting back. The angel of the devil started fighting back. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. But the dragon, who was not strong enough and no longer was in a place found in heaven from him and his angels. So, the dragon, Satan, was not strong. When they were fighting, the, the, the angels of God, were, they were power, the devil, they were power, Satan. The Bible says in verse 9, but the dragon was not strong enough and no longer was any place found in heaven for him. So, and, and the dragon, and the great dragon was cast out, that whole serpent called the devil and the Satan which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the heart and his angels were cast out with him. Now, you see, uh, when he was fighting in heaven, he was defeated. He didn't have a place in heaven. So they, they fought, they fight until, until he was thrown to, from heaven to the heart. That's, that's a war. That's a war started from heaven. It, the war did not start here on earth. It was a fight in, over there. And the devil, Lucifer, Satan, as he's called three names. Here they call him devil, and they call him Satan, and they call him deceiver. Now, when he was thrown from heaven, he was very hungry. He was, it, it was, he was very hungry because he knows in heaven how beautiful it is. And how he was, he was in charge of music, how he was enjoying heaven. Now he's in the wilderness, he's wandering here with his angels. Those rebellious angels, those followed him. Now the Bible says that Michael and his angels, when, when, they, 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 when they fight the devil, until God was very angry. God was very angry with the devil and the devil was very angry with God. You see? The devil was very angry with God and God was very angry with the devil. So because God is overall, is everything, he decided to chase him down. He sent him down on the earth here where we live. So the devil said, okay, I will also have a place in a, in a heaven. I will, I will be both on the earth and on heaven. But now the devil decided to live on the second heaven with his agents. Then... He said that, okay, I know, there's, there's, I know I know, that God, you are created a man there, and I'm going to make sure that this man would never enjoy anything good from you. So the devil went to the man, God created and deceived him, and deceived them. Then the war started again from there. The devil made sure that he has, he has chased away, the, 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 the man, the man that God created from their apartment, their, their house, from their a place where God has kept them, then he went, they went out like, like him. But now, is, the good news is that 
Jesus, the Son of the Living God, he came, he came to this world to fight the devil. The devil thought that he can fight him like he used to fight everybody. He could defeat everybody, but he thought he's going to defeat Jesus. He never defeated Jesus. So there is no way, as a child of God, no matter what you are going to do right now, you have the victory. You are able to fight. You are able to fight every evil giant uh, mounting against you in the name of Jesus. You are able to fight every evil giant on the mountain on your life. Any mountain standing on you, you are able to fight. Only have faith, only have faith as the Bible says. Jesus said, you don't need a weapon, you don't need a gun, you don't need a uh, physical fight. Just have faith. Have faith. Jesus said, I've given you authority and the power. I have given you power and authority. You know, authority and the power, it, it can, it is, it, it, you have it. The police, they have authority. They have power when they are in uniform. But when they are not in uniform, they have, they have nothing. They don't have any power. They don't have any authority. But you, your authority is there with you all the time. Now the Bible says in the book of uh, John. Yes. The authority that we have given is to fight. To fight and stop the, the slaughtering. The slaughter of the enemy what he's doing. And, when, and there was war in heaven. Michael and his angel fought against the dragon. And the dragon and his angel fought back. But he was not strong enough and lose their breath in heaven. The great dragon was thrown down. That ancient serpent called the devil or Satan who leads the whole world astray. He was thrown to the earth and his angel with, his, with, with him. The first thing you know, he, he, he was defeated. He was defeated from heaven. That's what you know that the devil is a liar and is defeated. The devil, he has been defeated because he was, he was defeated from heaven. He was not strong to fight. He was not strong to fight and remain in heaven. So he was thrown out from heaven. No matter what situation you are facing right now, it doesn't matter. The devil, the devil was defeated and he will still be defeated. Everything the devil is doing against you, he was defeated. That, that is what the Bible says. He was defeated. He was not strong. It's the same thing. Still, the devil is not strong. That can destroy you. It is you who, who wants the devil to destroy you. We have been given here a very powerful scripture that will, will pack up. The Bible says in Matthew 11 verse 12, And from the days of John the Baptist until now, until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violent, and the violent take it by force. So, here it says, from, the, from the, the days of John the Baptist, until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violent, and the violent take it by force. So, the kingdom of God suffered violent, and the violent will take by force. You see, the devil needs violent. It doesn't need soft, good prayers. The devil needs violent. If you cannot fire, you cannot fight the devil with violent. The devil will defeat you. You know he was defeated. That's why you need to to make sure that the devil does not defeat you, because you have to be very aggressive and very violent to fight him. There is no shortcut, no shortcut that you will, you will give tears to the devil. You have been crying a lot. I was talking with a woman. I told the woman, don't cry. Don't give the tear you are the devil anymore. You have been crying so much. You have been mourning. You have been mourning, mourning. You have been crying. So now, you don't need to give the devil your tears. When you cry, the devil is break dance. The devil is very happy. Satan is very happy because he knows that you don't know your rights. If Mike, Michael, and his angels they started crying, they could have, they could have, they, they could, they could have, won, they could have not be able to fight. If Mike in heaven, 
when they were they, when they started the war if they started crying then they were they would have been defeated but you you are tears you don't have to give the the, the the devil the tear it is the devil to give you the tear not not you you are a child of god and you have won the war no matter how mountain it is every evil every every evil mountain every evil giant that is facing you you will bring it down jesus said it's only your faith that you can move that mountain every giant when goliath was a big giant and he was disgracing the children of god then the man who knows that the devil was defeated he went there and they bring the, the, that variety down. So your variety tonight is going to be down. In the mighty name of Jesus. That power that is attacking you all the time. It is going to be bring down in Jesus name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every giant. Every satanic giant. Standing against you. I command the fire of God to destroy them in Jesus name. Every giant that is lifting his horns up. Every giant is standing on you. Every mountain that is you are facing. In the mighty name of Jesus, I cast them down in Jesus' name. By the power and the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. The only language that the enemy understands is violent. It is the kind of violent that, but, but, that uh, blind Patramayo, son of Demayo, who, who, who screamed when he heard that Jesus was passing. The man was screaming. Even his disciples told, told the man, don't make noise, keep quiet. The man said, I will not keep quiet. I will not because I have to fight until I get my rights. So the devil was talking to this man. Even people, the crowd were pointing him. The security men, intelligence security were pointing at him, saying, don't make noise, keep quiet, die with your poverty, die with your blind. The man said, me, I will not. The man screamed. The man was very violent. He tears his clothes. He screamed. He called Jesus. He, he called Jesus. Son, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. He called very loud. The Bible says he continued speaking, crying loud until Jesus stopped. Until Jesus stopped what he was doing. He called him. Patramayo, the blind man Patramayo, who he was a, a poor man and a beggar. But when he heard Jesus, the Bible says he screamed. Even beside, beside his disciples, the, 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 the group, the demonstration, and the other people were, say, were stopping him. He didn't, he didn't obey them. He did not listen to them. So every mountain is stopping you. Every power stopping you to meet Jesus. Every power stopping you to meet God. Let this power be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let this power die in the name of Jesus. You know there's some powers in the second heaven. We talk this time, we talk all the time. I refer this, the, the, Daniel. When Daniel prayed, his answer was answered the first day he started praying. But the enemy, hold his prayer. For, all, for 21 days. <coughs> yes, Lord. Father, I want to thank you. I want to bless your name, God. I know that, God, you are able to deliver your people tonight. You are able to deliver your people, my Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, you are able, my Father. I want to thank you tonight that you are able to deliver your people. No matter what they are going through, the devil must come down. The Bible says that God will bring them to your feet in the name of Jesus. When this man screamed, he said, I, today, today, I must meet Jesus. Today, today is my day. Welcome. So, you see, fire is what is needed. The fire of the blind man, Patramayo, it made him to meet, to meet Jesus. Jesus stopped everything, what, what he was doing. It's the same thing that you will also scream to, to God until God will hear. David, David used to say, God, hear me. Attend my, my prayer. Listen to my prayer. So, hallelujah, praise be the name of Jesus. Welcome. <coughs> I'm telling you that 
the devil, the only language the devil can understand is violent. Because he was defeated, the Bible tells us that he was not strong. That's what to prove to you that the devil is not strong to defeat you. Jesus defeated him and he has given us power. Jesus has given us power against him. The Bible here declared very clearly that he didn't have power. He was not strong when, when they were fighting. He was defeated. He was defeated and he was thrown here. And then he said, now I am going to those people and I will deceive them and I will make sure that they will not go to heaven. I will make sure that I will deceive them. What occult man was talking to us. He was telling us how they recruit people and what they do. I was shocked, I was shocked, I was shocked. But eventually I know that, thank you now, now I have information. How the occult recruit people and the, the qualification they, they look for people who will be their clients. The clients. Now, I want to tell you that the enemy, the devil, according to the book of Revelation, which we have read, that he was not strong to fight. He was thrown down. And then he, he, he said, okay, I will make sure that they have deceived everybody. And that is his work. But you remember that the devil is defeated. He's a liar, he's a thief. And you have been given power and authority over him. Yes, the devil is defeated. All the children of the devil you see who are manifesting or are doing, they are zero, they are defeated. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I destroy every power of the enemy. Every power of the devil working against your life. Every mountain that is standing against you. I destroy them in Jesus' name. You have to fight. You don't have to give the devil your tears. You don't have to give the devil your tears. Anytime you give the devil the tears, he, he gets very happy. That's one of you empower him. He feels good. But you have to make him to cry. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He was defeated. Anytime you start a war, you know you will win. Because you are a child of God. And the angel, they say angels always are signing to fight with you. To fight for you. The, the, Bible was, the Bible says, don't fight. I will fight for you. God will fight for you. Except that if you have fight, you give them permission. Ask your angel. There is a domestic, there is a domestic angel who are assigning the house. And these angels, they are there to guide you, to fight for you. Anytime when anything happens to you, they are there to fight you, to fight for you. So, so what you have is to have that faith. And, and the faith that you have as little as master seed. You don't need a big, big, big faith. Just little as the master seed. You will fight. You will be able to fight. If you believe that you are able to fight, you don't have to watch your, a woman taking your husband and you start crying, crying, crying. You don't, you don't know what to do. You don't have to watch your husband take the, 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 your husband going, your wife leaving you like that. When you married, you married to live together forever. You did not marry to, to divorce tomorrow and, and throw away the ring and go to another man or another woman. Three sec marriage, four marriage. It was not a plan. That was not your plan. You need your, your husband. You need your wife. That business you started, you, you planned that the business would help your family. It is a business that you would give income to it. And then you find that the enemy has taken it. You watch it. You have to fight fire and fire, fire and war. You have to condemn them and speak the word. It will be established. You have to go to deal with the spiritual warfare. That's why you need to change the prayer. You need to, to change the prayer, your prayer life. You have been good in that church. You have been praying good, good, good prayers until everything has gone out of your hand. So you must be very aggressive and, and fire. And according to the, the book of Matthew 11 verse 12. Which says the kingdom of God suffered violent and the violent will take by force. So you must be a very aggressive, very violent. It is when you can defeat the devil. But if you don't, some people they say that we believe we, we, we use the word like that and then, but yes, you use the word and it, it, that is it. Yes, we use the word. That, how, why is it that you are still battling, you are still suffering, you are still in that situation? You need to be angry in the spirit to fight. You need to fight that evil giant. That 
that is as come assigned to you. Yes, Lord, we thank you, Father. I pray that as you are here today, all of your blessings that are seated are sitting down by the roadside shall rise and locate you in the name of Jesus. I pray that the every blessing that has been sitting on the roadside, the enemy has been sitting on them, shall be released to you in Jesus' name. You know the, the enemy, he is a roadblock. The devil Satan is a roadblock. He, he has his agent. He said, okay, that is, that is the prayer he's going to get it. I am rushing to block it. And then he succeed, broke everything. Everything is... He, he, I was talking with a man. I said, what? Everything, everything is closed. He doesn't have, he's squeezed everywhere. And he's on the, on, a, on the list of deport, de, de, deportation. Because nothing is working for him. He was explained to me. I said, wow, the devil has tried and has, has, has really found you and has get you. So he's sending you back home with the empty ended, nothing. Then I said, we will speak to God, and God will, will, will restore you back. So we, we, we will pray. He will not go home. So I pray that God will deliver every situation that you are facing now. You might not be in deportation, but you might be facing difficult life right now. Some people are going through very, very, very difficult time, but the Lord will deliver you. When you start fighting, you will win. Remember, the devil does not, is not strong. That will defeat you. He, he didn't defeat Jesus. Jesus, he thought that he's going to shut Jesus. He thought that he's going to finish Jesus. Even when he was tempting Jesus. Yes, the devil was tempting Jesus. And then he thought that that is the end. Even when he was telling Jesus to worship him. He, he asked Jesus to worship him. Jesus told him, I know you. The devil did not know Jesus. He did know that Jesus is the son of the living God. He didn't know. If he, if he knew that Jesus is the son of the living God, he could not even try. He could not do, do that. He thought that he's, a, he's, a, he's an ordinary human being like other human being he has been deceiving. He tried to deceive Jesus. How many times? Jesus, when he was praying, 40 days, he went there. And they said, now this kid, he doesn't understand. Let me use other people. He went and they used the Pharisees and the Sadis, the Sadis, to make sure that Jesus, Jesus is not going anywhere. But all the time, he was, Jesus was defeating his kings. Wherever he was planning, Jesus, Jesus was defeating him. Even the time he used Peter, one of his disciples, he used Peter. Jesus told me that Satan behind me, Satan, get away from me. So he didn't, he didn't defeat Jesus. You know, but still the devil did not understand. Still the devil did not know that Jesus is not the son of, is not the, is not the, is the, is the son of God. Still the devil did not recognize that Jesus is the son of God. That's why you know that the devil is a liar. He didn't know. When you look at that, Look at that. He didn't know. That's why he was attempting. He thought that Jesus is, is like any other ordinary person. He, was, he tested everybody. He tested everybody. All the, all the prophets in the Bible. He went there and attempted them. He, he, all his disciples, including Judas Ascariot, who was with Judas Ascariot, who was with Jesus. When the devil entered to, uh, to, to Judas Ascariot, he, he uses him. And Judas was not able to identify that this is the son of God. Even the disciples, except the Peter, who said you are the son of the living God. Some of the disciples, they were, not, they were doubting like Thomas. They were not sure if really, this is the son of the living God. But I'm telling you that when you recognize that the devil is a liar, is defeated, you can dress up like, like a, a mad wounded lion. You can raise up like a mad, a mad prophet. You need, to be, you need to be very, 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 very aggressive with the devil. You, you have seen, you are 50, you are 80, you are 70, you are 40, even you are 30, but you have not achieved anything because of the enemy. 
People have very good certificate, no job, nothing. Then you tell me that you can pray good, good prayers. Send thunder, command the thunder of God to thunder them. Send the, with, with, send the fire of God to the camp of the enemy. Send, call them enemies that is making me like this. Let the, let, 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 let the fire consume them. Ask the sand enter in their hearts. Ask the pepper enter in their eyes and, and break their eyes. Ask the, 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 the harm of God to go and break their teeth. Pray that the prayer that will destroy them. They have, they, have, they, have, they, have, they, have, they have done so evil for so long. Now it's your turn to fight them. It is your turn to fight them. They have been fighting you until they fix you in that place where you are. Now is the time to fight back. Fight back. Fight back in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, we thank you, Jesus. God, I want to thank you. The enemy has stolen from you and you, you will recover by force in Jesus' name. What the enemy has taken from you, you will recover by force. All that the enemy has taken from you, you will recover. You will recover by force in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord your God is with you as a mighty terror one. He says all those that gather against you, against you, they shall feel from before your face. In the name of Jesus. That's what the Bible says. The Lord is a might, is a is a mighty warrior. The Lord God is 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 like a mighty warrior. He's a mighty terror. He's a man of God. He will fight. So you, you don't have to cry, give the enemy your tears. Fight him, stop him, condemn him. When David was going to Goliath, he didn't look at the giant, he didn't look at the big Goliath, how Goliath was. He only cast him. He said, you, you, I will bring you down, no matter how big you are. So no matter how big your problem is, it is nothing. It will go. The situation you are facing, it is going to, to die. It is going to, be, to die and you will feel free. You are going to get back your husband. You are going to get back your children. That case in the court, that is giving you headache. You will win in Jesus' name. As long as you believe that Jesus Christ, he defeated the devil, as long as you have little faith, you will fight and you will win. In the name of Jesus. Yes, <clears throat> your ministry. Many people have, have called. They, they have calls. Many people, they have mission, ministry, but they cannot develop their ministry. The ministry, the enemy has make hard life. You can't do it. Everything is very difficult. Everything is so hard for you. Because of the enemy, today you will fight back. Fight back. Call the enemy, the, the ministry that God has given you. Just call the ministry and say, the, the, my ministry, the enemy that is holding my ministry, I call upon fire against you. I destroy you in the name of Jesus. You call the name. If you are looking for a job, you say, the enemy that is holding my job, I am taking authority. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I destroy you. You call the name. The name, that the thing that you are looking for, you call it. And you can say, uh, the enemy that is holding my husband, the enemy that has taken my husband away, you just put a lot of prayer points, you call the name and you fight, you fight, you fight, you take a step, you take hours on one prayer point, you receive, yeah? If you have bad, bad, bad dreams, just pray fire prayer, say my dreams receive fire, my dreams receive fire, you call fire prayer until your dreams will change and then when they come that bad dreams, the fire will take over. If the diseases you are having, sickness you have, high blood pressure, any sickness you call it by name, you say you blood pressure, hear the word of God, I command you to die. If the high blood pressure will die, it can't manifest, it can't function. That's why we use die. If something is dead, it is destroyed, it will not survive. So when we use die, it means that that thing will be destroyed. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, came to destroy the work of God. Destroy means die, destroy completely. You call that thing by name. You say, you, the enemy, by this name, 
wherever you are looking, what you are looking, if it is poverty, if it is you are, you are so poor, or you are looking for financial miracle, financial breakthrough, call the name, you poverty, hear the word of God, I destroy you, I command you to die, I set you fire, get out of my life, that's how you pray spiritual warfare prayer, we are going to pray here, the enemy of our, our life does not want to see the fulfillment of our destiny, the enemy will not, will not fold his hands and just watch you success like that without fighting. Whether you like, or, whether you like it or not, you ha he has declared a war against you. He has declared a, a, a war against you. Whether you like it or not, he's not one to fold the hand like this and watch you enjoying. He will fight, he will come for it. Yeah, He will use anything to come to fight you. The enemy is not worried that you have received the promise of, from God. The enemy does not worried that you have the promise of God. He doesn't even care because you don't know the promise you have. You don't know your rules. You don't know your, your, your rights. So he's not worried about that. That's why he's very ag aggressive with you. The enemy does not worry that you, you have the promise. He doesn't care about the promise you have from God. You, you also do the same. You don't have to care about the devil. He is defeated. You don't have to cry. You sit down crying. Yes, God. Thank you, Father. We want to pray. Yes. I want to pray that God will help you. Yes, we want to pray Masinigan prayer bullet. We want to pray Masinigan prayer bullet now. I pray that every prison door, human or demonic, keeping you from what God wants you to be, I command them to break to pieces in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, every door that has been crossed, has been crossed by the enemy, I pray that that, that that door be open in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, every power of the enemy that is closing the door, closing the door for you, let that power be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I am praying that God will deliver you. I pray that God Almighty will set you free from that door of, 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 of the prison in the name of Jesus. I pray that every prison door, human or demonic, keeping you from what God wants you to be, I break, be broken to pieces in the name of Jesus. Be broken to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, God, I want to thank you, Father. I pray that God, all the evil prison, God, and be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Every security of the devil, those security watching you, they are following you. They don't, they, everything you are doing, they are watching and following you. Let them be scattered. Let them be rendered powerless in the name of Jesus. Yes. They are the agents of the devil that is following you. They, 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 they watch and see everything you are doing. And then they go to block you. Let those, let those power be destroyed. Let them be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every covenant and curses, keeping any problem in place in your life, break in the name of Jesus. Break, 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 break in the name of Jesus. Every covenant and curses, keeping any problem in your place in your life, break in the name of Jesus. Break, 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 break. Break, break, break. I break them in the name of Jesus. Every covenant and curses, Keeping your any problem in your life, in your place. Let them be broken in pieces. Let them be broken to pieces in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, my Father. Every covenant and curses, keeping any problem in place in your life, I command them to break, to break into pieces. Let them break into pieces in the name of Jesus. All of you, Potentials receive resurrection. Every good things that has been buried, let it be receive resurrection in Jesus' name. All that gift, you know, you have good gift. 
You have so much gift, but the gift is buried. They have buried your gift. I command you to receive your gift in the name of Jesus. Receive your gift in the name of Jesus. Start activating your gift in the mighty name of Jesus. I ask the power of God to start activating your gift in Jesus' name. Receive activation right now in the name of Jesus. Start to activate your gift right now in the name of Jesus. You don't waste time. You waste, you waste, waste, waste that you, you can't do anything and you are gifted. People have gift. People, you, you are so much gifted. But you cannot do, you can't do it. You can't do anything with your gift. The devil is a liar, is defeated. Tonight I pray that let your, your gift be activated in Jesus' name. Let Holy Ghost fire activate your gift in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that, I pray with the thunder in, in the, with the thunder in my voice that every prayer that I pray, let it, let it accompanied by the thunder of God and destroy the enemy that is making you to live that way in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you, Father. I thank you, Jesus. Everything that will make the promise of God to fail in your life, I pray, oh God, destroy them. Anything that would make that, that, that the promise of God to fail in your life, you know God has promised you. God has given you promise. That's why the devil does not care about that promise. He makes that it is fail. The devil makes sure that the promise of God has failed in you. Let that power, let the honor be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Anything, everything that will make the promise of God to fail in your life, let God destroy them in the name of Jesus. Let it be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. I want to thank God. I want to bless God. I give God the glory. I give God honor. I give God thank you. I bleed the blood of Jesus. I bleed the blood of Jesus over you. I pray that God Almighty would cover you with the precious blood in the name of Jesus. I pray the fire of God, fire, I send fire to destroy anything working against you in the name of Jesus. Anything holding the, bless, the promise of God against your life, let it be destroyed. Let them catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God, I want to thank you, Father. I want to acknowledge your name and give you all the glory. You are a mighty God. You are so good, God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. God, we worship you, God. We thank you, Father. We give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. I want to thank you. I thank everyone that have come. Tomorrow morning, we don't have morning prayer. We will have morning on Saturday, 8 o'clock, and Sunday, 8 o'clock. We don't have night we don't have night night prayer now. We don't have midnight until Monday. Monday is when we start again our midnight prayer. So tomorrow we have deliverance prayer. And Saturday we are going to Niagara Falls for our barbecue. If you can come, you are welcome. So I want to thank you and say thank you once again. I have to stop here to prepare. Tomorrow I have so much to do and there's a lot of things I want to attend. Thank you very much. If you want me to pray with you, to stand with you, call us. Our number, our, you can text us, you can send WhatsApp, you can, you can call us. Our number, it, this is a cell phone. Our number is 647-608-5207. And then you can call me direct line 905-487-7196. And we have email address overcomers dhm at gmail.com. Go to our website www.overcomers dh ministry.brocksport.ca. You can get these videos, all the videos are there. Also, scribe the videos, go and like our page, uh, Facebook, Twitter. You can share these videos. Share the media, share with your media, Facebook, Google Plus, share these videos. May God bless you so much. See you uh, on Saturday, 8 o'clock. Tomorrow, we don't have prayer. We have 7 o'clock. 
our deliverance prayer, our, our place of, of worship. We have a place where we do our deliverance every Friday. Brampton, Ontario. So if you are living in Ontario, Canada, or you are going to visit, you are welcome. So call us. Give me a call. We will give you the direction. The direction is in Brampton. If you are in Brampton, you, you are there, so you can't miss the place. You, you are most welcome. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful night or, or morning. Your country, may God bless you so much. See you on, on Saturday, 8 o'clock a.m. And some, some of you, I will see you tomorrow evening, 7, uh, 7 o'clock p.m. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Isiki, saying bye-bye to you. Bye. Bye-bye. I love you so much, and there's nothing I can do about it. Bye.